Hey, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate. A pretty full eight-game slate, and uh, with only a two-game NBA slate um, in competition with it, it's probably going to get a lot of action. Uh, we did very, very well yesterday, actually. We uh, got, I think, like 10th or something in the penalty kill, and we were really close to winning the, the kick save. I think we got fifth or fifth in that, um, just using the same process that we always use. So uh, let's continue on. And again, for those of you that are watching this for the first time, again, the, the idea is that the, it's weird, like the less people that I have watching this video, the better. Because what that means, the people that have watched it a few times have learned the process such that they don't really have to come back here. Okay. Um, now, again, I am doing this specifically for this slate. So I guess the information is somewhat timely. Um, but the idea is that I want to give you you know, the process to utilize such that, yes, you do have to access good projections and good tools and things like that, but um, to not have to always come back for these these breakdowns. Um, it's not even really a breakdown. It's just really going to be just kind of a tutorial on how to use the information that we already have to build lineups. So anyway, uh, let's take a look first. Uh, same thing. First, we look at the team totals. Then we look at the sheets. Then we build hand-built lineups. Then we build Sabre Sim lineups. Then we build contest Sim lineups. That's it. And it's up to you to figure out which ones to, to, to utilize. If I knew exactly the answers, then this game would be solved. But again, it's just all a nice process that, you know, if you don't want to spend seven hours on this stuff, but you want to put some good work into it, I think this is a good way to do it. All right, so let's just first get an idea. So you have the Kings at 3.7. Then you have uh, Detroit Rangers at 3.5 or so. Islanders at 3.5. Nashville's a little higher at 3.7. And then Colorado at 3.7. Vancouver all the way at the end of the of, of the rainbow here at 3.9. So that could rate to be a good late-night hammer to play. And you guys know I love to play those late-night games. Um, not that I really love to play them. It's always good to know that you have a shot. Especially when you, you you usually have teams like the Kings and the Bank and the Canucks and the Oilers who play in these types, you know, in, in that part of the country or that part of the continent um, where you're going to have late games. Anyway, so we're expecting to get good team totals and good fantasy scores from maybe the Kings and the, uh, the Canucks, Colorado. But let's just see. Let's take a look at the uh, at our sheets here. Um, we'll take a look at the individual rankings and then we'll look at the stack rankings and see if we can't make heads or tails but again let's not get too fancy about this we're rating these guys by what's called sheets value score and combination of point per dollar and just raw fantasy points and all we're looking for are a bunch of dudes that play for the same team that are rate pretty high and also it'd be nice if they were on the same line as well that's a fancy that's a primitive way of saying that we want good correlation of well-projected players. So the first thing I notice, and this is my first time looking at it. See, I noticed two things. One is, wow, it'd be cool to get to these two guys right? because the number one and two overall values on the slate, uh, you have McKinnon at, with a 46 sheets value score, which is really, really big. And if you can get them with, with Rantanen, I mean, it's going to be expensive, but if you can make it work, it's a really good play. Uh, then you have Mizushkin, who is on the same line, who is also a top ranked. Uh, same even strength line, same power play line. So the goal is to see if you can get to these three dudes. Okay. Can you? I don't know. It's usually hard. Very expensive. The next thing that I notice is this guy. Right. So if Anders Lee, who's 3,200 um, on a number one even strength line. So that is extreme value that you are going to have to honor, um, whether it be stacking them or, you know, stacking his line mates or at least a one-off. And then the other thing I noticed, without looking too far down, you have Kyle Palmieri, who's 4,100, who rates really high. And lo and behold, they are all on the same. Ooh, they're not exactly on the same line. Okay. So Lee's on the first even straight line, second power play line. Palmieri, second even straight line, first power play line. And then the other thing I notice is that these other Islanders are all rating really well. Okay. So it 
it takes very little to look at this slate and where's Brock Nelson to realize what's going on here. You have the Islanders as the value and you have Colorado as the spend up. And if you can use the Colorado, the Islanders to get to Colorado, that's great. Otherwise you could just fully stack the Islanders easily. Um, the other thing I notice is, is Nashville, right? So Nashville, they have Forsberg and Josie top two. Yeah, it's not quite as good. What I don't see is any of the Vancouver's. The aforementioned Vancouver spot, nobody's really rating all that high or that, that well. So I guess from a, from a double handle perspective, we should say, okay, let's see if we can get Colorado and the Islanders in together. If we can, great. If not, we have to do something else. So let's look, uh, before we even look at the stack ranking, rankings, let's see if there's any cheap goalies that we can look at. Uh, Igor, 8,100. Gustafsson, 7,600. And we're probably going to need the savings if you want to get to these Colorados. So we'll probably start with um, the Minnesota goalie, which was who? Uh, Gustafsson. Um, now, before we even build, let's look at the at the stacks, the stack rankings here. And we rate the stacks by three different metrics. One is just by raw points. As you see, Colorado is clearly a standout there, followed by Vancouver, Nashville, I mean, Rangers, Devils, everybody. When you rate them by point per dollar, the Islanders, as I should come as no surprise to anybody, would be the top value stack. And then when you combine the two, you're getting Colorado and Nashville, and then with the Islanders close behind. So, you know, the only issue that we're going to run into is that what I'm describing is probably going to be extraordinarily popular. But we'll get to that when we deal with, with, with Saberson. Let's just see if we're going to build a lineup with, um, with, uh, with, these, with these dudes and see if we can't do it. Um, Okay, um, let's do, I mean, I already drafted. Oh, I didn't draft. Okay, I, I, I put dummy lineups. All right, so let's just start. Let's first of all, let's put in the uh, the, 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 the goalie so we don't forget. It. And he's already confirmed, so that's good. So let's, I mean, let's just get one greedy. You want to see if we can do this? We probably can't, right? And then Ranton and then Nizhushkin. Can you do this? There's no way, right? Oh, Nizhushkin day to day. What is this? He's gonna be a game time decision. All right. Well, that that's actually interesting. He didn't take part in the skate. All right. Well, let, let's leave him in for now. Maybe a little a little uh un uh, uneasiness about his his availability might keep his ownership down. Maybe I don't know. But we'll be on top of that. So if you play these three guys, I mean, can you play a fourth? Probably not. I mean, you, you, the one you'd want to play is Toes. Look at how expensive this is. Now you need to play 3,300 a man. Now the good news is, is I know that where we can start. We can start with the Anders Lee at 3,200. And now we're at 3,300 a man, so it becomes very difficult. But you can play Palmieri. You can't quite get there, though. Now we'd be at 2,950. So there's just really no way you're going to be able to play these four Colorado guys, even with the Islanders. I mean, unless you play these two Islanders and take – I mean – then we, then we'd have to start sorting by point per dollar. It becomes really, really fishing. But let's just see. Well, you got this guy, Taylor Radish, 2,800. That's, that's, that's a good enough bit of value there. But he's a wing. Why, why would life be easy? Um, let's see. What else? Are we just sorted by point per dollar if we want to really jam this in. Oh, look at this. Well, here's another Islander. 2,600 beats another wing. It's a little annoying. But you have this guy, 
Hago from the Islanders, who's 2,800 at center. So you can do this. And then one cheapo defenseman. So you definitely can do this. I don't know if I want to do it, but let's see, a $3,100 defenseman, maybe be good here. Um, $3,300 for Sherwood. Usually there's somebody. Nobody? Probably have to go down to goal. Or something. Oh, we get the uh, our favorite, the Vancouver guys, get Ian Cole. So you can, you can get in the four Colorados if you want to. But I don't know if I want to. What does it look like if I just take it nice and easy and play the Islanders? We'll play like these five Islanders or whatever, whatever, whatever suits us the best. So we'll play Hor we'll go Dobson, Horvath, Lee. Let's see, Islanders. Horvath. Lee, Dobson, and that's all from the first even strength line. And then we play Palmieri and Nelson, get some sneaky power play stuff, so we could do that. So we'll go Palmieri and Nelson. Now, now life is good. You know, now it's like he's. I mean, if you want. You could even play the goalie. So now you could play these one offs in Colorado, and, and you can't play two of them. But you could play. You can't play three of them or four of them. But you play two of them. Like if you don't want to play McKinnon, you could play Ranton and, and, and Toes if you want. What about this Forsberg business? Forsberg and Josie. Josie's so expensive though. I just hate playing. Um, defensemen that are so expensive. Let's see what this looks like. Asheville, Forsberg, Josie, and, but you can do it. Well, no, because you have to play a goalie. So. That's why I can never play Josie, but you could certainly play these five Islanders and then, you know, do whatever else you want. So I think that, though that's your primary decision is whether you play Colorado and then fill it with cheapos or play something really solid with all the Islanders together and then get really, really good plays everywhere else. I think that's the that's the idea. Let's see what Saberson has to say about this. So let's let's what we're doing is we're going to upload our our customized projections to Saberson. Exclude on list of players. Well, all these guys are out. Okay, I'll have to fix this in a minute. But okay, so now we're here. We're going to build, I don't know, we'll build 50 lineups. I'm just curious what we get. Now, usually, I mean, this could go one of two ways. Either Saberson is really good at getting these Colorado guys in, or you know what it might do? It might do like a one-off of McKinnon with, uh, with all these Highlander stacks. I guess that makes some sense. Or who knows, maybe it just goes in a completely different direction. So I've seen that also. And then we're going to look at that, and then we're going to do the contest sense where ostensibly, or allegedly, they're going to Saber Sim will compare um, our pool of lineups with a field pool of lineups, like what, what lineups Saber Sim thinks people are going to play and see what lineups we're supposed to play given that information. So first of all, let's just see what we get normally. We would get Colorado and the Islanders. Look at that, right off the bat. This is almost exactly the lineup that we came up with. It's really funny. Colorado and Islanders. All right. But you know what? That's totally reasonable. First thing I'll do is I will look at the stack exposure, and it's actually pretty pretty reasonable, like normal type stacks. I, you know, I don't need the 4-2 really. Or the five zero or the four two two. 
So we can X those out. Um, and then what are we getting? Same type of thing. Yeah, Colorado and the Islanders. So let's save these for now. Now let's put them in Unique 2 maybe. Save a little bit. Yeah. We'll upload our dummy lineups. Save these to here. Duplicate these. And now before we do anything else, we're going to right click and hit add contest. So it fills in the data of the contest that we want to play or that we're already registered in so that we, so it knows how many people are rating to be in it. And it can guesstimate, I guess, based on ownership, based on Sabre Sim ownership, what, um, what we're supposed to do. So we'll remember these lineups. So let, let's, let's download these for now. So we have them. Uh, and then we're going to run the contest. Let's make sure they're both running. Yep. You know, sometimes takes this long, sometimes takes a little longer, sometimes whatever. So that So let's sort by uh, the Tuesday 20. Risk adjusted ROI. Let's see if anything changes. Nope. The only thing that happens is you get less Colorado. You get like even more Islanders. Um, so in this case, I'll probably end up just going with the, the regular Sabre score built lineups. I don't feel like having 94% Islanders. Now, again, that's not particularly analytical, but that's, you know, there's no proof that, <laughs> that you have to play the other way. It's best I can describe this. All right, so now let's look at the uh, the energy line, which is the, the big buy and see what that looks like. And a big old Islander jam, which is, and, and the McKinnon one-off, which is something I sort of suspected. Or if you didn't want to do that, you could do the Josie one-off here. McKinnon one-off, McKinnon one-off, all these weird one-offs. Not weird. Play the Forsberg one-off. So these these are these are the these are the the big Islander crams. You no, know, this one's kind of good because at least this one has two guys from from the Islanders. I mean from Colorado. So maybe we'll go with that one. What is this Tomasino? Fourth EV line? I don't know if I need that. But for now, let's let's just keep this the way it is. Let's 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 do the McKinnon one off. We'll save these. And that's really all we do, with the exception of again, you know, if we're closer to the you know, closer to lock, we have to look at you know look at all these 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 late scratches, like such as Dzhuskin, for example. Um, but we'll be on top of that. But overall, that's pretty much uh, what I do. Um, now, again, there's obviously stuff that gets done beforehand, you know, with the projections and all that stuff, but you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, you guys can just benefit from those numbers and use and try to use this process to give yourself a shot, you know, uh, and that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.